Hey guys, Eric here from worshipbanduniversity.com and today we're going to take a look at how to set up a click-only track in Ableton Live. Now first you should have watched that first video that we had which shows you how to set up your template just like this so if you haven't go back and watch that video but if we have the template set up all we have to do is go over here and click on our first song and rename it. The first song in our set list that we're going to do is Alive by Hillsong. So I'm going to type in the name of the song semicolon, space, then the BPM of the song, which is 132 space BPM. So if you don't know the BPM of the song, there's a couple things you can do. Number one is play the song and use like a metronome that has tap tempo to basically figure out what the BPM is. You can go to songbpm.com and basically type in the name of the song and the band and they should give you the BPM of that as well. You can also go to loopcommunity.com or even multitracks.com and check out the song that you're going to do. And usually next to the loop name, they will have the BPM of the song as well. So that's another way you can kind of cheat to figure out what the BPM is. Once you have that all typed in, we're also going to hit semicolon again, space, and then put in the time signature, which is 4-4. Four, four. Now that that's all in there, this is all the info that Ableton needs to basically set up a click track for you. But if I go over here and try to press play, it's not going to work because there is nothing in this row here that's, that's a, basically a song because we're not using a cue, we're not using any loops or anything else. So what we need to do is trick Ableton to think we have something in this column over here. So what I'm going to do over here is go to the click only column on this track line and double click, which is going to insert a blank MIDI track. Now, again, there's nothing in here. This doesn't really do anything at all, but it does trick Ableton to think that there is a track here. So what happened is, if I now click over here, it's going to give me my 132 beats per minute. So any track we add in that does not have a cue or loop in it, we need to have that blank MIDI track right in there. So let's go down and do another song. Now, number two, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to do This Is Amazing Grace. Put in our semicolon space, and this one's going to be 98 space BPM. Again, semicolon again, and 4-4, four, four, hit enter. Now again, if I click on it again, it's not going to work. I need to go over and double click to make uh, a blank MIDI track in there. Once that happens, there's my BPM and my click in a different time. So the last song that we're going to do down here is uh, we're going to do How He Loves semicolon and this song is in 75 BPM and this song is in 3-4 so at this one we should now have a 3-4 song after I insert my MIDI track hit play and I have a really great click in 3-4 time now this song is actually uh, kind of a slower song so sometimes going along with a slower click is really hard to do. So what we do a lot of times is we're going to make the click a little bit faster um, or basically tell Ableton to accent the eighth notes instead of just the quarter notes so it's maybe a little bit easier to play with. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go over rename this song but I'm going to click at the end instead of putting in 3-4 I'm going to put 3-8 in there and hit enter because what Ableton's going to do now is count the eighth notes of our 3-8 time in 75 beats per minute. So now when you hear the click, it's basically counting three eighth notes in a row instead of just three quarter notes. Um, I can change it to really whatever I want. Again, if I want to put it in like, let's say 6-8, if I want it to count all six notes in there and it'll accent it every sixth one. Again, you can hear the accent on the one of every six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So really, however you want to split this up, you can do that really super easy. So go on and try to make your own set list. Give it a shot. Have some fun. And we'll see you guys in the next video.